afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Friday the 9th of July 2021 and tonight I'm heading to Thorn Colliery against Glass Houghton Welfare in a friendly. Right, so I'm just walking between Thorn and Muir Ends, where the ground actually is. Um, going into the new season, uh, Thorn are going to be in the Central Midlands League, um, which is Step 7. Um, although they're in Yorkshire, they're not in the Midlands. Uh, they need to sort the name of that league out, to be honest. Um, meanwhile, Glass Houghton Welfare are um, in the Northern Counties East League, First Division. Um, same league as they're in last season when we saw them beat East Hull 7 0, um, which was obviously the last game I went to before the November lockdown. Um, so, yeah, it could be an interesting game this tonight. Obviously, I've heard a lot of good things about the, about Thorn as a club in the ground, so um be interesting to see if they can live up to that. I'm looking forward to this one, uh, something a bit different. Right, so one of the team's players are warming up out here, I'm not sure who exactly, but anyway, here we are, here's the ground, let's go in. Yeah, there's some turnout here tonight. Right, so glass out now on the pitch, still no sign of form, and I'm getting a, a copyright strike from David, the, the deal, and thanks, Skinner. on my own. Right, so here they come. And now I'm getting a copyright strike from the weekend. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I mean the Oh, oh. Who's that? 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 Um, that guy scored it. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. That post. Oh, thank you. Oh, no chance. Oh, straight out the keeper. He's in. Oh. Ooh. Slice that. Oh, oh, it's in. Oh, offside. Number six again. Oh! 
That is a win here. Oh. Everything. Clinging on a bit here, man. Glass out in. Yeah, she'd be in five tips about five minutes. So half time it's Thorn Colliery 1, Glass Out and Welfare 0. Uh, there's no doubt about it that Thorn have had the uh, better chances, but then again, Glass Out and have had, you know, the their odd burst forward and the odd moment that sort of looks a bit dodgy for, um, for Thorn, but um, so far, no avail for them. Um, I mean, it's not been it's not been a bad half by any means. I mean, I'd probably say it's definitely been better than, than Wednesday night. Um, but on, obviously on Wednesday night, the second half, lining up a bit more. Um, fingers crossed that um, becomes a kiss in this one, and there can be a few more. Oh, it's been just dragged him down. No, no, no. Nothing really. A podcast, yeah, do a video. Oh, Ten. wow. Carbon copy. What's that going in? That is cutting edge of point like that. It's 1-1 one, one, and it looked like the keeper flattered that. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was good. I didn't Can on, you do then. it? Can you get the winner? Oh. He's got the pace. Oh. 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 What? Who wants it? He's going to chat to the liner. We've got VAR. I don't think. Oh, he's giving it. He's giving it. Giving it. He's giving it. Late drop. Late drop. That's a penalty. Colliery. It's a penalty. Yeah. Penalty. Yeah, ten. Down spot, ref. Good win. Yeah. Great penalty. Excellent penalty, that. 2 1. Late, late drama. Well, number 10 celebrates Thorn Collier winning the pre season friendly cup. Right, so the final score was Thorn Colliery 2, Glass Out and Welfare 1. Um, late drama. Um, initially, the ref wasn't going to give the penalty, but then um, the linesman basically overruled him and it's been given. Um, it was looking for some parts of that second half as though. Glass Alton could have gone on one of the obviously they missed that sitter towards the end. Um I've actually got the like, clash clash the YouTube channel tonight. We've got Joey here from Match Days. What did you think of it? I thought it was a good game. I mean Thorn sort of had the better chances and I do think that um they probably deserve to win the game. I did we we looked it back, didn't we? And it, we felt I felt it was a penalty, so but it was a well taken penalty at the end and yeah, very, very hard fought win there for Thorn. Yeah, obviously, uh, you're a Doncaster fan as well. Uh, just at the minute, like, what are your initial thoughts going into the season? Like, how do you rate your chances like, compared, like, based on what, what you've signed so far and what uh, the other Personally, mate, I'm, I'm very, very excited for the season. I don't think I've been excited for a season for a long time, but uh, well into said all the right things. Um, I'll just, we'll just be interested to see come August when we play Wimbledon how we, how we fare. Very good, very good. Um, so, yeah, the, um, very interesting night, but very enjoyable as well. Right, so um, now we have uh, Jake here, who uh, is a co-host on the Fan of Fan podcast, and as well uh, has his own blog. I'll uh, sh share a link in the uh, description for that afterwards. Uh, what were your thoughts on tonight's game? I enjoyed it. Very physical, good game, uh, plenty of goals, and a bit of drama right at the end, which uh, can only be loved, especially as a neutral. <laughs> it wouldn't be nice if you're a glass out and light, but... Uh, I thought it was a penalty, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's got yeah. no one in the ball or anything like that, has he? No, it's um, definitely, he's, he's gone so, for him. So, right, so um, um, yeah. Mansfield fan, uh, Liverpool fan as well, yeah. uh, how are you sort of feeling about those two ahead of the uh, season ahead? Uh, uh, we'll, well, we'll start with uh, Mansfield. Well, with Mansfield, with Cluffy in charge, I think we've got a great chance. I think we should be up there this season. If we don't get up there this season, I think uh, that is the time to worry, personally. Um, some decent signs, I think, so far. But hopefully, see them in action on Tuesday at Retford United. See some of the players. But I've, I've, I'm, I'm very confident. I think we we started off uh, pretty poor, but we, we got into our stride a bit. But he's got rid of some of the players. He's brought his own players in. I like him as a manager. Obviously, I'm a big fan of his dad as well. 
Yeah. So I expect us to be challenging at least. Definitely. Uh, I'll be happy with playoffs. Uh, and as, as for Liverpool? <laughs> well, I think um, I'm happy with the squad as always. I think Canate is a good signing. I'm just a bit worried about City. If they sign Kane and Grealish, I think then we, we need to make a marquee signing personally. So, um, yeah. But I think we'll have a great chance. Hopefully, Thiago's uh, uh, bedded in a lot now and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, less injuries and uh, I think we'll have a good chance so I think we'll fight for the title definitely but uh, if City sign Kane we don't sign anybody up going up yeah, front I, I, I think the way it seems to me at the minute is um, like in the minute I just can't see you know um, anyone else challenging City unless they do some yeah. these business like at the minute I can't, I can't see I can't see United really challenging them uh, no. Liverpool still need to make a, a couple of Sort of, sort of signings. Um, yeah. I think the only man saying that I think I think Chelsea could be in with a, a decent shout this year. Possibly. I mean, a, a full season under Tuchel will only be a good thing for them. Uh, they've come on really strong since he's come in and uh, claimed their second European Cup in uh, fantastic fashion. So, uh, yeah, they'll 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 be a they'll be a daft side as they always are. They're a horrible team to play against. I hate them personally, but yeah, they'll they'll. Uh, I think they'll have a better season than uh, last season in the league, guys. If there's any if there's any Chelsea fans watching that, is the thoughts entirely <laughs> of Jake Topless, not not necessarily of me or my channel. Um, yeah. Sorry, uh, anyway, guys. Uh, f thanks for that. Uh, fingers crossed, it'll be a good season for football fans everywhere, and uh, we can, the grounds will be back at full capacity with away fans in that before long. Yeah, it's the football. Yeah, here's to uh, fans back in the ground. Bring it on. Yep. There you go. Right, so that's that for this video, an absolutely cracking night. Uh, it was great to meet up with um, uh, Joe and Jake, uh, two great lads that are both really good at what they do. So um, be sure to check out um, Joe's channel. Um, when it's up, I will the link for the link to, to his version of, of events tonight will, will, will be in, in the description, um, as well as uh, Jake's blog and um also the uh, fan of fan podcast which um which uh, jake co-hosts so um so that'll all be uh, ready for you for, ready for you to check out um but that is that from me for tonight um i will be back tomorrow with billingham town against gateshead in a friendly um I mean, obviously, what was meant to be at um, Sunderland West End for the finals day, but as it happens because of COVID and that, that's all falling apart anyway. But um, initially, Gates said we were meant to be away to Berkeley, but again, COVID. Um, that game got cancelled, so... Uh, but thankfully, uh, Billingham Town have stepped in at the last minute, um, and that's where I'm heading tomorrow. So really looking forward to that one. Uh, one of my favourite uh, Northern League grounds as well. Um, so until tomorrow, take care and I will see you later.